Welcome to Lights and Perfection for another moment in the Word. My name is Chris, and this is where we bring the truth about biblical perfection and holiness to light through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. We believe, through Lights and Perfection, that our calling is to equip the saints to become full members of the household of God. We're just so thankful that you've chosen to tune in and check out what God has to say. Well, let us open up with a word of prayer. Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, we do thank you for giving us that access to you, that we just come to you with open hearts and sincere hearts and faith and believe that we're in your very presence right now, that there's nothing you wouldn't do for us and that you've already paid it all. And we thank you for the opportunity to once again, just jump into your word and just give us eyes to see and ears to hear always what you are saying in the church today. I pray, Lord, that you just empower us with the immeasurable greatness of your power toward us who believe so that we can be equipped so that we can be equippers of those so we can help fulfill the great commission we do thank you for this opportunity to just jump into your word once again lord and ask that you open it up and open our hearts to it in jesus name amen praise god thank you once again for tuning in today i want to talk about just a real quick passage of scripture about guarding the deposit that God has entrusted to us. The scripture is out of Timothy, I believe 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 14. And I'll be reading out of the English Standard Version. I'll read 1 Timothy or 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. They read, Follow the pattern of the sound words that you have heard from me. In the faith that in love that are in Christ Jesus, by the Holy Spirit who dwells within us, guard the good deposit entrusted to you. Praise the Lord. Now, obviously, we're to follow the pattern of sound words that were given through the Apostle Paul. He was revealed the mystery of the gospel through a revelation and articulated the gospel truth probably more prominent than any other apostle. And we're so thankful to God for that ministry that he gave him. Even though Paul spent a lot of his time in prison and being persecuted and suffering, it, his, his ministry and the, the calling that God called him to was just so impactful to us even 2,000 years later. And this scripture in particular is really interesting because it is a call to action to stay on guard. And this word is by the Holy Spirit who dwells within us, guard the good deposit entrusted to you. Now, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit for the day of redemption, but we need to realize our participation in that is to guard that deposit by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. And it's, it's amazing because we could get kind of caught up in this idea of, well, isn't that work? No, it's not when it's already been paid in full and everything you need is supplied to you to be able to do that guarding. And I find that so unique because it's this cooperation that we have with God in heaven to fulfill that work of salvation that has been accomplished through Jesus Christ and the blood of the cross. And it's so amazing that we get to be co-heirs with Christ in the kingdom of God in this way that we get to participate in the work of Christ in our lives. Now, this word guard is really amazing, and it's a, a Greek word called phulasso. And phulasso in the helps word studies, and I'll probably drop a link in the description below uh, just to bring you to um, biblehub.com. It's one of my favorite places to go to research and to study the word of God because all the resources that I really like to have, like lexicons and the Strong's Concordance and, and all these different utilities that we have um, supplied to us are right there in this one easy place. And I'm not advertising for them. I just, I just really enjoy the workability of it, able to read in Greek and in Hebrew and, and to really understand the context of things. And there's also commentary and other um, sermons and things like that, devotionals even, that are available to believers. But this word phulasso is really interesting. It's, it's to personally be on guard against. Now, we know we are on guard against the powers of darkness and the powers of the evil one, and that he never rests. And we have to realize this. He never rests, and he does not stop in his attacking of the saints. And so with that being said, 
understand that we are supposed to be on guard in that same fashion. We are not to rest when it comes to our spiritual health in Christ. We should always be on the guard in protecting our hearts from darkness and from worldliness. And, and we do that by, by praying those prayers of faith, those effectual fervent prayers of faith, trusting in the power of Christ that he's afforded to us through the Holy Spirit to overcome and conquer those areas of our lives. And again, this idea of guarding, it stresses the constant and personal interest involved with the guarding. And this is from the Helps Word Studies from that Bible Hub area. Um, what's interesting is that this definition uses the word constant, and that's a constant personal interest. So it's a constant stake of each individual believer that they need to have in this guarding, in this fight against principalities and powers in spiritual forces of evil. And so it's really imperative for us to understand, first of all, what we're involved in, and also the tools and the weapons that we have to overcome. And thank God that he doesn't leave us as, as orphans. He has supplied everything we need for this work of salvation. Unfortunately, some don't know of all this that God has for them. And that as such, we want to be those that equip the believers with those mindsets and the tools and the weapons necessary to defeat the powers of darkness. Because never shall the enemy overthrow our faith if we are applying these biblical principles laid all throughout Scripture. Praise God. So we've been given a great treasure, a great deposit, greater than anything that could be found on this whole earth. We have been entrusted with the gospel of peace. We have been entrusted to be those that are sanctified, called out of the world, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, holy and without blame before him in love. And he is able to keep us until that day. And I'm just so thankful for God and his word and for the, for the Lord Jesus Christ and the helper, the comforter, the Holy Spirit who comes alongside us, the paraclete, to equip us and guide us in all things that God has for us and to preserve us until the day the Lord returns. However, with being preserved till the day the Lord returns, we have to realize our cooperation in that. I can just not apply what I'm reading right now, and in the long term, I could probably fall away and be deceived very easily. However, I could be encouraged by the word and reach out and grab a hold of heaven and, and declare God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven in my life so that I could be the salt and light to spread the knowledge of Jesus Christ to all the earth. And praise God for that, that he gives us the power and the ability. And I'm just excited for what God is doing in your life and in our life and how he's building us all together to be that beautiful temple in the Lord for him to dwell in. And so we just thank you again for tuning in and checking out Lights and Perfection for another moment in the Word. We do pray that the Lord would bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, God bless you all. We love you.